20 years ago, Johns Hopkins joined a new project called the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. We set out with a couple of universities to map the north and sky, and I volunteered to build the archive, the database. We were using computers to collect an exponentially increasing amount of data. And about halfway through the project, I realized that this is much more important than just astronomy. Today, in one year, we collect more scientific data than since the beginning of mankind. In particular, today, genomics is the one that is exploding the fastest. So there, the data is not doubling every year. It is doubling every six months. In fact, at the Johns Hopkins Hospital alone, we have labs that are generating more than 10 terabytes of data every single day. But the challenge isn't really just about the volume of data, it's about how we build bridges between the data that are captured and how we integrate the data. You know, we collect data for a purpose, to make discoveries. And it's becoming harder and harder to extract the knowledge from these data sets. So we have to do everything differently. How we store this amount of data, how we move the data around, how we look at it, what is the metaphor, how we actually relate to the data, how do we do the statistics on it, how we do the analysis to see the big patterns. And this data-driven discovery is the one that is now appearing everywhere. If you think about a, a patient, as an example, who presents at the Johns Hopkins Hospital or one of our affiliates and has a complicated disease, a difficult diagnosis, wouldn't it be wonderful if all of our clinicians and all of our scientists and investigators could work together across all of Johns Hopkins and understand where similar patients may have presented before and how the data really are important to the ultimate result. And there are many fields where big data sets are critical to the science that we conduct here at Johns Hopkins. In particle physics, earth science, ocean circulation, wherever you look in every scale of the physical world, we see the same challenges. A traditional scientist is very deep in a very narrow area. And, and in this new world, where our science is governed by computers and dominated by our computing technologies. We need basically scientists in this new era have to be very good in their own discipline. They have to also understand computer science, computational thinking, and they still have to know a lot about science in general. So we cannot just improve one piece in this whole game, how we approach data, how we interact with data. So we have to use these new instruments that we are building here at Hopkins to basically help this process and help to figure out how are we going to do science in this brave new world. We really have to rediscover the new scientific method for the 21st century. Making meaning out of the data, it really does define who we are and what we need to do. It's very rare that a genuine scientific revolution is taking place. There haven't been all that many in the history of science. And today we are living through one of those revolutions. So it's a very special time and Hopkins is a very special place.